list right after this. So check your seating area, seat back pocket for any of those personal items you brought on this aircraft. And once you've gotten off, you are not allowed back on to retrieve any of those items you left behind. Here in Maui, it's also one of our provisioning stations. So we'll have two extra doors open here. We'll have our front and back service doors for your safety for the safety of anyone you're supervising. We can make clear those front and back service doors so they're able to service this aircraft from back to the mainland. Now, it certainly has been our pleasure having you with us today. We know you have many, many choices when you choose to fly. We thank you very much for choosing us here at Southwest Airlines. We're glad to take you on vacation, but if you're coming home, welcome home as well. Go out there, enjoy the sun, and we'll see you again when you want to go back to reality. Welcome to Maui. Hey guys, finally touched down. I'm in Hawaii. It's here. We kind of are here in our jean jacket. We'll say we're 20. I know. Um, <laughs> I literally just set down my luggage and we're gonna go get something to eat because I'm starving. And I think like, I also have to remember at home it's kind of dinner time, past dinner time. So it's right on time. But yeah, we're just gonna get something chill to eat. Honestly, don't have too much solidified plans for this trip, but we're gonna make something work. I'll catch you guys when we go to eat. I mean, it's really and windy. It's here. It's pretty delish. I like sweet drinks, so. Cheers. Cheers. What's it called? Ho'okipa Beach. Ho'okipa Beach. Ho'okipa. Whatever she said. <laughs> Ho'okipa Beach. Yes. Okay, now I feel like I'm actually in Hawaii. We just finished eating. That chicken was so good. <laughs> but so here it took me to the beach. Wow. It is so pretty. These waves are intense, but she said that this isn't anything. This is nothing. <gasps> Look at the chicken. A rooster, right? Yeah, it's a rooster. Oh, people surfing right there. Turtles. Oh, look, there's a lot of turtles. Oh my gosh, Sierra. Look at all the turtles. Do y'all see all these turtles? Oh my gosh. That's actually crazy. You might see the sunset in. This is really nice. See, I've never been on this side. it is saturday it's the next day um me and sierra just finished getting ready so like, i kind of just threw my hair up but i left a piece down but right now we're going to a farmer's market i'm just wearing like a white button down some jean shorts i think it's gonna be a pretty chill day most of our activities are booked for sunday and monday so tomorrow sunday we're going zip lining then we're going to a luau and then on monday sierra's going to work but i booked a snorkeling activity so yeah, I'm excited for those days, those excursions, activities, but right now we're heading off to the farmer's market. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> so I'll catch y'all there.
15. We like a pounding lice and then make it a stickier and then that's like a culture thing. We get together. So good. Yeah. I love marching. Thank you. Good on everything. You know, if they're garlic lover, that's A couple hours later, Sierra took me to the beach. Well, it's taking me to the beach. We're currently at the beach. Well, there. <laughs> literally. Like, let me show you guys. It's literally right there. Such a long journey. Ah, this ain't bad. The waves out here are so intense, though. Like, I don't think Not I've seen bad. waves like that before. Not bad at all. Comparison. Oh, Sand in my shoes. Can I just take my shoes off? It's actually really warm too. Yeah, we definitely underestimated this wind because the sand is hitting the back of my calves. It feels like little pieces of glass. I know it is. Woo, that kind of hurts. So we're trying to relocate. It's like a little sandstorm. again of course it's hours later um after eating me and Sierra just went back to her place and we chilled for a couple hours while she was watching this 
Netflix Korean type show. I don't even know. It's the physical 100. Physical 100. Physical 100. Um, but we're going to dinner. I cannot, I'm not even going to try to pronounce the name of the restaurant. Sorry. It's literally like 12 letters. So y'all will just see when we get there. But I want to introduce the vlog. Uh, we finished getting ready. We're on the way to dinner. So I'll catch you guys there. Maui restaurant makes you feel like you're in a tropical tree house. The restaurant actually sits on top of a blue beachfront lagoon. Immediately when you walk in, you're greeted with their new circular bar with a glass aquarium. Now I know we love a cute restaurant, but it's even better when the food and drinks are up to par. Without a doubt, my favorite dish of the night was a Pacific snapper. 10 out of 10, I would definitely recommend this spot for the next time you're in Maui. Morning, it is, what's today? Sunday morning, it's currently 6.03 a.m. Let me put my tripod on so I don't have to hold y'all. But it's 6 3 a.m. Me and Sierra are getting ready to go zip lining. I'm just wearing like a two piece set. I don't have a t shirt, so I just put this on um, for something. It's about an hour away. We have to be at 7 30, so we're getting ready to leave. I'm bringing my GoPro today. I had to buy this um, body strap from Walmart while I was here. And it didn't really come with a proper attachment, so I don't know if you guys can tell. Let me focus it. But I put rubber bands all over it. And then to like secure it a little bit more, I took the Kendra Scott bow and I put it on the base. I feel like it's on there pretty secure. I don't think it's going to fall. Um, if it does, then it does. But I hope not. I really don't think that's going to happen. But yeah, I just want to check in. Start the vlog off for today, and we will catch you guys at zip lining. I work six days a week. So. Freaking big. 
Too bad. And then you can either walk down till you float away, or you can just leap out. And in your house. And then, am I being recorded right now? Yeah. Oh <laughs> Hi, mom. <laughs> Okay, let's try that again. Come with me to go ziplining for the very first time in Maui. The journey through the mountains was so nice and peaceful. Honestly, Maui is just so beautiful. I just kept on looking out the window like, wow, I'm really here. We met up with our tour leaders and this is literally where things start to get a bit bumpy. We got suited with all of our equipment and tell me why I used a rubber band and a Kendra Scott bow to secure my GoPro to my vest. Terrible idea, but I literally didn't have anything else. We made it to our first line and this is where my nerves start to kick in. Like I said, this was my first time ever ziplining, so I made sure to let someone else go first. And there I go. Honestly, it wasn't too bad, but I definitely thought about how I could possibly fall at any moment. Of course, I had the smartest idea to put my phone in my bra, so enjoy these clips from my point of view. At this point, we had done about three lines already. Everything was going really well, and we were enjoying the really nice views. And this is where things get interesting. Do I have to? <laughs> 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 So pretty much they wanted me to run off, but I just couldn't. My nerves kicked in too much. But overall, it was a great experience and I'm really glad I tried something new. Okay, so we just finished ziplining. Sierra, what do you think? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. <laughs> it's my favorite activity, so. Yeah, I give it like, so that was my first time. Sierra's done it many times, different places. Um, I give it like a seven out of 10. My nerves were just bad. <laughs> I gotta insert the video or maybe y'all have already seen it. Um, where I was gonna run off, but I definitely started really bad. I was like, nope, <laughs> I have to start she over. Glitched, literally glitched. Yeah, because they were like, just run off. I was like, okay, and I was like, no, not doing it. Um, but it was cool. It was a fun experience. I'm glad I did it. Will I ever do it again? Probably not. But <laughs> I'm glad I tried something new. It was fun. Uh, right now we're going back home, right? Yeah. I don't know. Are we using the eater now? Probably. Okay. Yeah. Probably some food. Yeah, some food, and then we have the luau later on today, which I'm excited for. It's a really nice day too, so we're just getting lucky with the weather. 
so yeah, I guess we'll check in when we get something to eat. Sierra took me to the lookout so we can just stop and look at the beautiful ocean. It's just so pretty here. It's kind of crazy to just look at everything. Baby. Hours later, really hoping my camera does not fall because it's so windy and this tripod is so skinny. I want to do an outfit of the day. Again, making sure my tripod doesn't fall. Um, wearing this bag, clutches from Windows, holding my camera. My dress is from Meshki. Can I turn around? I think it's gonna fall. Oh, she carry you? Let's see. Okay, there was someone driving by. It's from Meshki. Um, yeah, we're about to go to Luau soon. I finished getting ready, did my makeup. Hopefully I got a TikTok video for it. But this is the final look. I don't want to go too far because I don't want to try to fall. We're about to head out, so I'll catch you guys once we get there. You want to go do the pictures? sides if you don't mind <laughs> just height wise it's fine yeah, we're towering over her that looks way better perfect one two three and one two three so a couple more one two three and one two three gorgeous Good. But is it like your favorite spot? No. <laughs> That's still better.
we just left the um, luau. So you guys getting gas. But honestly, that was a really, really good experience. I'm so happy we did that. And I'm really happy we did it on Sunday night. Because tomorrow's like my last official day. We're not really doing anything tomorrow night. So I was really happy that this was like kind of the ending of the trip almost. It was so nice. The hotel was really nice. The scenery was beautiful. We literally saw whales going in and out the ocean. Um, we got to see the sunset. Where me and Sierra were sitting, no one else was sitting at our table. So we pretty much got a table all to ourselves. The food was good. It was open bar. We had a show. So everything was like 10 out of 10. I would honestly really recommend that specific luau. I have everything linked down below in the description box of everything I did during this trip. But yeah, that was just like a really good experience. I feel like that's my favorite thing I've done on this trip so far. Me and Sierra were like low-key matching. Um, I'm wearing like this cream dress. She's wearing like a knitted, um, you can, can kind of see, like a knitted top. We got a lot of compliments. Um, people liked our outfit, our hair, things like that. But yeah, it was a really nice experience. Sitting there, I was like, this is very surreal. Like, I'm at a luau in Maui oceanfront it was just really nice so i would definitely recommend doing a luau if you ever come to hawaii especially maui go to that one the location was really nice the whole experience was nice um and i said like the food was good but yeah it was just honestly really fun that's my favorite thing i've done zip lining earlier today was fun but nerve-wracking tomorrow is snorkeling guys my hair this is like crochet um, and my mom did it, so it's very beginner friendly. I just hope that it holds up tomorrow, but tomorrow we're going snorkeling, I think at 12 p.m. or 1 p.m. So yeah, that's like my last excursion of the trip. But overall, tonight was probably like a 10 out of 10 favorite night of the trip so far. So we're about to head back home, get some sleep, shower, and I will see you guys in the morning. Hey guys, it's the next day after the luau. Today is Monday. It's officially my last day here in Hawaii. I just got ready because I'm about to go snorkeling. Um, I'm going by myself because Sierra's at work. So we're gonna see how this goes. Um, I really honestly don't know what to expect. So I'm gonna sit y'all down. I'm not really sure what to expect. Yes, I know it's snorkeling. I just don't know if it's gonna be like super pretty with all the turtles and fish and reefs and all of that, or if it's gonna be like, I might not really see anything. But I'm excited. I really don't know how my hair is going to hold up. I haven't showed you guys my hair like that on camera. I've been wearing my hair in a bun every single day because the top of my hair isn't really done. It's just my natural hair in a really small bun. So I kind of just did like the perimeter. That's why I wear it in a bun. Um, so yeah, hopefully my hair doesn't get like too messed up. I honestly think it'll be fine. It's probably going to look weird in the middle, but no one will see it. But yeah, I just called an Uber. The snorkel meetup location is about 30 minutes away. So right now it's 11.28. Snorkeling is at 1 o'clock, but they want us to be there early at 12.30. But I'm still getting there even a little bit earlier. I'm going to get there around 1. But my Uber's almost here, so I'll catch you guys at snorkeling. Okay, I'm about to board for my snorkeling cruise. Not gonna lie, I feel a little awkward because I'm the only person by myself and the only black person. So we'll see how this goes. For to start working, after about two seconds, it starts flushing all on its own and it will cycle. If there's any issues, any troubles, please don't be shy. I'll let us know right away we're on the outside of the crater. Now on the inside, it's much shallower, a little mellower, a little shallower, so 150 feet. And on the inside wall, where we're going to be anchored today, uh, right between 10 and 50 feet of water. And again, this is its normal color. Uh, Molokini sits in the rain shadow, always to left in them, so. Molokini is usually nice and dry.
life on the road Doesn't mean I don't have time for you Plenty I've tried, almost came close But none of them compare to you So let's live our life more than one night Promise if I could, I'd do it twice What you say? Put them on my paws, press play Hold on, I got more to say I know my life can get so crazy But as long as you're right here None of the gossip, nothing can stop us I wanna love you with no fears We can do this thing together Close your eyes and take my hand Cause what we have is something special Baby, let's just take our chance Uh, they're having to go a little bit further off, uh, out uh, west and north. Most of the sightings that we have had this past week were out towards Olawalu. That blow, that exhalation that you saw from that whale, that's the air escaping our lungs at about two to 300 miles per hour. And when they do that, that, that little bit of water that happens to be left on top of their huge nostrils, a little bit of water gets vaporized and gets shot up into the air. Wow. They're pretty awesome breathers. They breathe way, way, way better than us humans. Uh, they exchange about 90% of the volume of air in their lungs in a fraction of a second. You know, nice group here. This could very well be what we call a competition group. A competition group, in case you don't know, this is when a, a bunch of boys are, are fighting. They're duking it out for the attention of the female. Uh, males come here for one reason only. Males come to Hawaii 3,000 miles in order to mate. Uh, that's all they want to do when they're here. And uh, this time of the year, they're, they're, this time of the year, they're getting a little desperate, especially if they haven't had a chance to mate yet. Uh, so this is when we see all the good action when they start beating each other up to try to get the attention of the female. This is what we call a competition group. A little lunch from that whale. It might show us his tail. This is another another reason uh, we can tell this is a competition group when the whales are doing erratic changes in, in, uh, in direction, when they just all of a sudden just change uh, the way they're they're swimming. Uh, this is a, a good indication of uh, of a competition group. But that's what the whalers call them, the humpback whale. But as you can see, they're doing circles. This whale might swim underneath the boat here just a little bit. You saw how it arched its back from dramatically? That's how it got its name, the humpback whale. Hawaiians call them kohola. Can you guys say kohola? Sierra just picked me up. I am looking, she said dry. I thought she meant ashy, but I am looking a little ashy. <laughs> um, but I figured I'd tell y'all how it was when I told her. But pretty much it was cool. Um, I was telling the vlog, I felt a little weird at the beginning because not only was I the only black person, but I was the only person there by myself. Mm -hmm. So like everyone was with like a group of five or four, like with their families. It was like a lot of family stuff. Um, so I was just sitting there like, <laughs> and everyone's like, oh, you're solo traveling? I was like, no, my friend's at work, but I still wanted to come. Um, but yeah, so it took us like 40 minutes. I don't know if you can see it, but it was just like a little, like a horseshoe type island, shaped island. Um, 
and we got out they gave us like the goggles and the piece to put in your mouth i was kind of like do i really want to put my mouth on this because you know mm-hmm. but i couldn't do without it so just like whatever um they gave us the flippers and it was probably about how many people on that boat maybe 60 80 oh, was a lot yeah i did not expect it to be that many people um and so there was like one main stairs like to go out into the ocean and it was just kind of clogged up and they were like you guys can jump off the side if you want so I was like, you know what i'll just jump off the side and so i scooted down on the edge put on my little flippers and i was about to jump it was kind of like <laughs> oh god you glitched again it was like zip line. i was like wait i'm a little nervous and the girl was behind me she was like yeah i was gonna let you go before i go and i was like i mean i know how to swim but for some reason i just got nervous for a second and I finally jumped in and it took me like 10 minutes to figure out how to use that snorkel thing because I feel like it's like under your nose too so you can't breathe out your nose and I was like I can't breathe and of course when you look down to the ocean you're like okay I can't breathe out my nose and it was weird breathing through the tube so I had to get used to that but then once I got used to it it was fine there was a bunch of like black fish about the size of my palm and there was like a um, little rainbow colored fish and like some yellow fish. It was only fish. I thought I was gonna see like some turtles and something else. But yeah, there was so many of them. Um, I felt like they, I was probably like this far away from them. Like they got really close. Oh, wow. um, yeah, a lot of fish. And yeah, I probably swam in there for like 30 minutes just looking at fish. I used my GoPro. Nice. Um, and yeah, then we got back on and we started heading back and then they saw Will, so we stopped. Yeah, they stopped for like a long time. But yeah, we saw like four whales at one time kind of like come above the water. So yeah, it was pretty cool. I'm glad I did it. I need to wash my hair. But yeah, it was a good experience. Like, I had fun. So I guess we're about to go eat. Um, I'll catch you guys later. So